So when I travel, especially on an airplane, I like to bring something to keep me occupied and I love coloring always makes me feel at ease and restful. So I really enjoy bringing some of these coloring books with me. But unfortunately, my colored pencil box has seen better days. So we're gonna make a travel pouch for them. Um, so join with us throughout this tutorial. So I'm just measuring my pencils and I think I'm going to do a nine by six pouch and that should hold them just fine. I've gone ahead and picked out two contrasting fabrics. I'm gonna use this one for the outside and I'll use this one for the inside or I can switch it around. Okay, so I have not lined up my grid so that it is um, nine inches across. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And six inches long. So I'm gonna cut that with my rotary knife. So what you'll need for this project is two of the outside of the pouch, nine by six, two of the inside of the pouch, nine by six, a rotary cutter and sewing scissors, and then I'm using a nine inch zipper because our width is nine inch, and then I chose red um, thread to go with the colors uh, that I'm using and this is all-purpose thread and of course you want a bobbin. So the first thing you want to do is to pin your zipper. So the zipper, that's the front side of the zipper, is facing the front side of the fabric and then I pins it um, to keep the fabric in place and it's right along the top edge of the, the fabric and we're going to use our zipper foot and sew that in place. Okay, so I have my zipper put in place and I'm just gonna sew as close to the zipper as I can. I like to snip off my ends as close to, oops, as close to the um, project as I can because I like to keep it nice and neat and that way when I go to sew, these strings won't get caught in the um, bobbin. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We just took the, the front part of our pouch and sewed it on, and then you just fold it over. And then we're gonna take the other front piece and we're gonna line it up with the top of the zipper again. So we have front side to front side, and then we're gonna sew along that upper edge. Okay, so we have it all pinned up, and the top of the zipper is lined up with the um, front side of the pouch. And so we have the two fabrics front facing together, and we're just gonna sew. Okay, now this bit's a bit trickier. So we're gonna take the front side of the inside of our pouch, and we're gonna flip it over. So now it's front side of the inside of the pouch is facing the back side of the outside of the pouch. And we're going to put it in line with the zipper on the top, here like this and then we're gonna sew along that edge. Okay, sew along the top edge. Okay, so that's what it should look like after we've sewed it. So now we're gonna just open this up and we're gonna flip it over like this. And so now we have um, the wrong side of the zipper and the right side of the inside of the pouch. Okay, so then we're gonna take our other fabric from the inside of the pouch, and this is the right side. We're gonna flip it over to the wrong side, and we're gonna sew it again, lining up the top of the zipper along here. Okay, again, we're gonna get it as close to the zipper as possible, and here's a little sewing one-on-one -on -one tip. When, when you're starting the um, edge, you wanna secure the thread, so you're gonna go forward a few stitches, and then you're gonna go backward a few stitches, and then you're gonna go forward again all the rest of the way down. And what this will do is it'll secure the thread so that it won't come apart later on in life. And then make sure to remove the pins. Um, if you go over them, sometimes you can break your needle and that is awful, I've done that before. So make sure you remove your pins as you go too. Okay, so we've sewed that top line. We went back and forward on each end so it doesn't unravel later. And now we should have, this is the outside of our pouch and if we did it right drum roll please this is the inside of our pouch yay yay so we did it right okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to put front sides to front sides like so yeah. okay and so that should be 
front side to front side here as well. See front side to front side. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we'll pin it so that it doesn't move as we sewing it. Um, and we're gonna sew all the way around. So we're going to start here and go around the edges like so. And we're gonna leave a gap here. So we'll start here and end here. And the reason for the gap is so that we can turn it inside out when we're all finished. Okay, so as you can see, I've also pinned the zipper together facing the inside of my pouch so that it doesn't get wonky at the end when we sew it. Okay, so when I sew around um, the outer edges here, I'm gonna use a 3 8 inch seam. So basically, if you look on the side of your sewing machine, this one right here says 3 8 this one says 4 8 5 8 6 8 like that. So what that means is I'm gonna line up my material right at the 3 8 I'm gonna put my foot down, so I still have my zipper foot on there, and I'm just gonna sew around like that, keeping the outer edge of my material in line with the 3 8 Okay, so I changed to my regular foot for you and I just wanted to show you how this works. So remember forward, backward, and forward again. And we're gonna stay along as close as we can to that 3 8 inch mark. Okay, so we sewed all the way around and we left our hole in the top, started here, finished here, forward back stitches to make sure it doesn't come undone. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the corners off of um, the corners. <laughs> and the reason why we do this is because when you flip it inside out, you want that nice crisp corner. You don't want it to, all this extra material to be bunched up. So the way we'll do it is we'll get our sewing scissors and we'll go very close to the, um, thread but we don't want to cut through the thread just like that and there you have it snipped corners so now we're going to open up this hole here and we're going to shove as all of it through the hole just like this keep shoving it through until it's all the way right side out keep going you're almost there keep shoving it through the hole Okay, I forgot to share one minor detail. Before you um, push it through the hole, you'll just wanna make sure that the zipper is undone in the middle so it's all the way open so that when you do flip it through, all of it will come through. <laughs> okay, so there we have it, we flipped it through. Now what we wanna do is we wanna get these corners nice and corner-fied. So I have a little stick that I'm putting in there. You can also use your finger to poke at it a little bit until the corner pokes all the way through, like that. Okay, so we poked the corners through and now we still have this hole left. So see how it naturally turns over anyway? We want it to do that and then we're gonna pin it and we're just gonna do a little stitch across here to close up the hole. Okay, so we stitched up our little hole. Now we're just going to shove the liner inside the bag. And voila, we've got a cute little bag. Here's the outside, and here's the inside, and we can zip it closed. And now I have a perfect little pouch for my colored pencils for when I travel on the airplane, I can sit back, relax, and color. If you like this video, I hope that you would like and subscribe. And if you do make a pouch, hey, send me a picture. I'd love to see it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and safe travels. Bye.